guys, Crew Blind and Leave, I'm Eric. Shane. Rick. Aaron. I'm Calvin. And we're back with My Hero Academia. Last time on, we had some setup for what's going to be going on this season, and that is mainly some a kind tournament. of tournament. Sports. Olympics. Festival. Yep. No, but the, with quirks. The Olympics are yep. boring now. Tournament. Olympics. Mm -hmm. But with quirks. Yeah. I love tournaments and showings. They're the best. Show they, they are shows. 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 Showing. Shows. No! Students are separated by class year, <laughs> and then the support, business, general studies, and hero courses all fight against each other in a bunch of preliminary trials. Okay, Whoever cool. Whoever makes it through the initial games face off in the finals. Meaning you'll have plenty of opportunities to sell yourself. I guess. <laughs> but, but really, I mean, what you're saying is absolutely correct, All Might. But honestly, it's kind of hard to get excited about this after everything that just happened at the U.S. Man, nobody is better at spouting word vomit than you, kid. Oh, hey, are you okay? Some heroes always aim for the top, while others happily settle. The difference between those two mindsets has a big impact on how far you go in the real world. I would have bet a hundred dollars we were off to a flashback. Oh, right? Very well here! Do you students have some sort of business with our class? Why are you blocking our doorway? I won't let you hold us hostage! They're scouting out the competition, idiot. At least now you know what a future pro looks like. Now move it, extras. <laughs> you can't walk around calling people extras just because you don't know who they are. <laughs> so this is class 1A. I That's heard you guys were impressive. <clears throat> you just sound like an ass. I wanted to be in the hero course, but like many others here, I was forced to choose a different track. If any of us do well in the sports festival, the teachers can decide to transfer us to the hero course. And they'll have to transfer people out to make room. If you don't bring your very best, I'll steal your spot right from under you. Consider this a declaration of war. Where did this guy even come from? I'm from Class 1B next door to you! We heard you fought some villains, and I came to see if that was true! But you're just a bunch of brats who you think you're better than us! Crap, everyone hates our class now! These people don't matter. Huh? Shit. The only thing that's important is that I beat them. Hey, I'm coming for you! Because he's a wrestler. Yeah, yeah right. right. That was such a manly exit. <laughs> oh, God, Sean. Maybe I'm God, just an idiot. I'm gonna become a pro. I'll sign with a good agency and make plenty of money. The difference between those two mindsets has a big impact on how far you go in the real world. You've got to give it your all. I hope you haven't Might. forgotten the emotions you felt back on the beach, beach. during our training. Dango Bob! Dango Bob! The Dango Bob. sports festival is in two weeks. The whole thing will be live on TV. <laughs> There's no up? doubt that whoever impresses the audience will have a much better chance of becoming a pro hero one day. Does she eat it? No. <laughs> Whoa! That's cool. Tailman! I don't really get that guy. Man. It's like Spider-Man. Giant tail. Yeah. What's not to get? Let's do this. He's the most straightforward one. Do? I don't see any hurt. He's like Spider-Man. Oh, that's yeah. like that's right. A deadly power. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Come on, the frog. Yeah. I'm going to go, he's just doing push-ups. Hurt yourself. Yes. Oh Before we knew it, it was the morning of the festival. Izuku, please be careful and don't get hurt. I won't. Man, we're already I'll record we're already the there. whole festival in HD. Crazy. Do your best. I hope we get to see everyone's match. Okay, I'm off. Whoa, oh, hey. Lady. Hey. Really and hold salt, will you? Mm -hmm. Of course. Mount Lady. That's going to be 10 bucks. Mount. Uh, Mount Lady. Yeah. Oh, Biggest no. giant. My money's in another class, too. Oh, ah! I have no sense of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, get your game faces on. We're entering the arena soon. Swallow your fear, swallow your fear, swallow your fear. Midoriya. Mm -hmm. From an objective standpoint, I think it's fairly clear that I'm stronger than you. Uh, um, yeah. However, you've got All Might in your corner helping you out. <sighs> know that I will beat you. <sighs> <laughs> I believe you. Oh, yep. What's with all these declarations of war lately? Yeah, what's the big deal? Why are you picking a fight all of a sudden? And right before we get started. We're not here to be each other's friends. Don't forget, this isn't a team effort. 
We're all gonna have to fight to stand out. And I'll be aiming for the top two. Yeah, Midoriya. Fine. It's competition. Let me hear you scream! I'm, I'm ready! I won't let you down. I hope we're still able to give our best performances, even though all these eyes are watching us. I suppose it's just another aspect of being a hero we all have to learn to get used to. President Mike sure did talk us up a lot. Welcome up here on board! Who's that guy? Yeah. Next up, General Studies Classes C, D, and E! Support Classes F, G, and E! Keep them, girl. And finally, Business Classes Y, J, and K! Business Classes <laughs> This year's chief umpire for the first years is the R-rated hero, Midnight. The R-rated hero. Midnight. That's what she has. Seriously, yeah, the other years so don't know what they're missing. Uh, someone should talk to Miss Midnight about what she's wearing. Yeah, that costume should come with a warning. I'm gonna win. I knew you'd say something like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> win. My fault, the rest of you are just stepping stones to my victory. I'm gonna cross this over confidence, sir! The old Kachan would have laughed while saying that, yep. making it a joke. He'll back it up. This is him pushing himself. And turning all the rest of us into targets at the same time. It's like Mario Party. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be I need trouble. Obstacle I race. You're bad, Chuckle. All other classes will participate in this treacherous contest to drive four kilometers around the outside of the stadium. There's a lot of kids. All might. Two of us should win, right? To the world. If it's a race, one of the first, yeah. I, am here. I have to be smart about this. I'm still not able to control one for all yet. I hope you're watching, All Might! You can't see your Come on. That seems like a hazard. Yeah. Crowd crashing. Off to a racing start. <laughs> How about some color commentary, Bobby Bab? How did you talk me into this? Look at that short guy. I get it. They're testing us, seeing how we get through. Well, this has to be the before he just blew over him. Oh shit! Oh, that that seemed unnecessary. Ain't gonna win. Apologies. We can control his power, thank God. Ah, hold up. Nice trick, Todoroki! I will let you get away so easily! You icy hot bastard! I icy hot bastard! I've been placed once before! They're just carrying him? So they are good at using their powers, huh? Does he have mind control of the power? Their eyes look funny. I don't know. Maybe. How pathetic, Todoroki! Eat this! My special attack! Oh, oh, that's the first obstacle. Yeah, all of the, <laughs> one of the chains. robots. Are you okay? Yep. It's a Robo Inferno! Oh shit, there's three of them that... Those are the ones you didn't attack, right? Oh, yeah. Are those the zero point villains from the practical test? Seriously? Jeez. That's more than three. It's like Mel Gear Ray fight. So this is what right, the Calvin? Calvin? Based in their engine <laughs> They obviously went through a lot of trouble, but I wish they prepared something a little more difficult. He's gonna just defeat them all. He's way too powerful. I love it. Yeah. Oh, nice powers. Careful now. I froze them while they were off their balance. Oh, shit. On purpose. Oh, they died. Ah, there's the rest of them. <clears throat> Gotta hurry. No, you can't beat those, son. Get out of there. Please just run away from me. Beat them all with one finger. Come on. Think. Punch as hard as you can. You hurt what yourself. do I do? So the hardest you can is when it works. Damn it! What the fuck? Son of a bitch! Fuck! Ah. Well, I would say Todoroki is the odds one favorite. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> when, at the beginning I wrote, so who do you think gets to the finals? Yeah. Uh, I, in my head I was like, by Todoroki. Yeah. 
And then I could see gotcha. either yeah him or Deku. Yeah, yeah. the, the pride. Deku's gonna make ones. it, right? Well, yeah. I he mean, doesn't have to. You don't have a Triwizard Tournament not have Harry Potter get to it. You know, to the end. Because you gotta you gotta have your follower, your the person that you follow into it. They will do this two more times though. Yeah, it's in true. Next two years. Yeah, yeah. Because there is a one uh, first, second, and third year stage. Mm -hmm. I say if you were gonna ask me when I first started watching Pokemon, hey. Who's gonna win and be, you know the, po the elite four and mm -hmm. join the Pokemon League? Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. Ash Ketchum. Is. We never win. They're like, no, nope. he's not going to because he always has to continue his journey. Yeah, to become a Pokemon. He's also master. never gonna be fucking eleven either. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I also, I'm also thinking of Rocky, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you know he he loses. You know, well, I'm not saying he loses. He's a fifty year old movie. <laughs> Fifty. I'm not gonna say that uh, that Midoriya wins. Sure. Just that I think that he'll get to the finals. A place. But what he's got to do is, you know, be able to master the technique of not... He's got several days of this, so he can't yeah. blow his load today. Exactly. I thought if he... The thing is, is if he hits as hard as he can, then it won't hurt him. No. No, that was the opposite. That was what we discussed last oh, week. Okay. He subconsciously stopped himself yeah. because he was fighting a human. He doesn't know how to do it consciously. Well, yeah, yeah I, I don't... Yeah. I don't... I, although I don't know he's ever done it, you know... It's not like he's trained it, I don't think. I don't think he knows how. Although yeah. I like that... I like that idea of, like... Like he he was punching, so when he was holding himself back with people that he knew and cared about, mm -hmm. that's what was hurting him. Was that his force holding himself back? Yeah. While his force also pushing forward. Sure. But whenever he let loose, trying to kill a villain. Yeah. I like that idea as well, but that's that as we were discussing originally yeah. it was like, yeah. it wasn't and this, I thought it was, it was this, I thought it was a lot. And it's not. It's he was holding back. Mm -hmm. Because it was a human. So he wasn't using all of his power at once. So because yeah. he didn't want to hurt anybody. He can use part of his power without using all of his power. Which is still pretty strong, I guess. Yeah. So all those people were just first years, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. From all the different classes. Right. Support, general, education, business, business. and what is hero. Uh, do they all have quirks? There's. They, they said support, hero, management, and general studies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what does... Okay. So support is like... Um, it's like a psychic. sky high, that guy could melt. Yeah. Yeah, in Sky High, you could, you could either be a hero or a sidekick, yeah. right? Bruce Campbell would divide you into groups. Like, yeah. Recovery Girl would be in support. Yeah. Yeah, she probably yeah. would be a very good, like, hero fighter. Not a frontline yes. hero. Yeah. And I wonder if there's quirks of just, like, like, for business, like, you know, being a human calculator or whatever. Maybe. Sure. Like, there's yeah, mental there's quirks survive. as well as physical quirks. What's crazy is they put all of those kids on that pathway, and then they have... 15 of those gigantic robots yeah. that could definitely kill them. Yeah. And ha and some of these kids are like human calculators that sure. can't do shit, you know? Yeah. Maybe they're not programmed to like kill. Yeah. They, gr they grab you and they hold you captive. Yeah, but what stuff. happens when they when when well, that happens and they fall over? Yeah, it just falls you. on Todoroki or if the guys don't have quirks and get trampled in yeah. the yeah. tunnel. Yeah. If I was one of those guys, I just like like remember those one people that was like I just don't want to be here. I can't wait till this is over. Sure. Everyone started running sprinting, I just walk. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I'm put my hands in my pocket. It'd be like <laughs> the girls in high school where we played dodgeball and they're like in a circle. Hiding back, in the like corner. Talking. Yeah. So we just hit them as hard as we can the first to get them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Todoroki's dad is watching, he said. So yep. he seems to be striving for that approval. Um, I don't think it's meant to be anybody that we've seen before or anything. Probably not. You know, um, probably the. That's uh, I was wondering. It's probably the hand guy. Well, yeah, I was wondering because they have the same type of hair. If we have seen him, <laughs> the hand guy had his own thing with the father, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're brothers. Maybe. I mean, it could be brothers, maybe. but maybe they don't even know. What do you think some of the other trials are going to be? Uh, I mean, this is kind of like a. I mean, it's a race, race. but they, they also they, what? It's an obstacle race. Yeah, obstacle maybe some race. kind of. 1v1 y kind of thing. I would hope for a 1v1. Yeah, like, I definitely want to see 1v1. Maybe. But there's a lot of people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> do, yeah. It, do you think. Free for gonna, all. It, I mean, it's. All of them are, like, versus each other. There's not going to be any, like, team. No. Or they don't have any kind of rally. I mean, it said it was a round robin tournament, but, like, how does this fit into that? Like, yeah. does the last, you know, 90% of people get it, out of the yeah, tournament? That's what I was thinking. It's or, possible that, like, yeah, maybe if you're so far behind, you're out. So and this is like a qualifying match. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. More. yeah it's... You are right though. Why well, needed to take off? He should be. He should yeah. be out there, man. Yeah, he should be the fastest. Yeah. He figured he could. Can he run so fast that he could have gone in that tunnel and then been like, whoosh, you know, Men in Black style? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Probably. Yeah, we've seen him do it before. And like when everyone was all, do, what, all packed in together, right? 
because there was journalists in the school, he like fl- flew flew above them. Well, no, he that jumped was up and he did like this with his. No, that was because the girl touched him yeah. and he yeah. floated and then he went. And then he went. It wasn't just because yeah. he could jump up and fly. Above we don't know exactly how fast he goes. Just say he can go fast, but if he can go four times faster than a human, he should be able to be out in front. You know? Yeah. yeah. So and he's starting to back and get through everybody. You know, I, there was a. I love whenever he's on screen. He's just so funny and no, yeah, proper. No, 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 no. But, I, but like, this yeah. was the first time I connected him to Percy Weasley from Harry Potter. Yeah, Percy okay. Weasley was always like that, you know? Oh, yeah. Very yeah. uptight. <laughs> yeah. By the book. Yep. Yeah. That was such a manly exit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wrote that down, too. <laughs> manly exit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, talking about uh, Kacha and, you, and uh, the way he acts, you know, it's not a matter of, like, I mean, he truly believes what he's saying, you know? And it is kind of an offset from what we've seen before, where he is very proud and laughing about it. And it's cool that, you know, Deku, you know, Deku has the uh, one-for-all power, but his his greatest asset is his mind, I think. Yeah. Especially when it comes to the notebook that he has and the way he's able to think things out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Kachan's only lost once in his life, right? It was during the... Oh, the Deku whenever he punched the hole in the yep. Yeah. building? Yep. Mm. What do you guys think the the purple hair guy's power is? I don't know. Because he acted like he has to have some kind of power because he's going to knock out someone from the hero group and take their their spot. And then he was being carried. So and I was kind of like, popular, can he control people? And like you were like, you said, like, say mind control power or something like that? And I mean, they all had weird eyes. Yeah. Like, were, mind like, control would be powerful super focused, in this world. You know? Like yeah. very powerful in this world because you control other people, you control know? other Does it have heroes. Well, that's what wasn't there a sledge monster in the beginning of the first season that controlled uh, Kachan? Oh yeah, right? it, it could like get inside of you. Yeah, and, and he and was it, using it your body. That's why the wood guy couldn't like right. fight. They all had a reason. They had to wait for All Might, and then mm-hmm. Deku just runs out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he had him like grabbed, so like he was like, yeah. you know, doing stuff. Yeah, like and that, his mouth was like over his mouth. Oh, yeah, man, disgusting. That was terrible. <laughs> So we also have other pro heroes here as well running security. One of the things I had talked about last week is like, what if the villains wanted this to happen so that it could be some kind of diversion that everybody's looking here, and it seems like pro heroes are here as well. Sure. So could this be something that they take advantage of the absence of the heroes and attention? So I'm just like another little check for that theory, I think. Yep. But uh, I like seeing those... Like those people we've seen before, you know, come back. Yeah. And out. I could see them using this Mountain. as something. Yeah. I don't think it was part of their initial plan, though. Yeah. But I could see them be like, well, if they're going to do this, we're going to do this. Sure. Yep. Um, what else? I mean, yeah, one thing I noticed is like, man, there's a lot of attention being placed on this. And, uh, you know, it has way more attention in the Olympics and stuff. But. You figure with that need for people to want it, it would be more than once a year school thing, you know? Sure. I mean, I understand that most people want to be heroes, but you figure there'd be just as much a need in this world to have, like, professional sports teams that do this kind of shit. Yeah. You know? There might be. Yeah. Well, I mean, it just seems like it's there's... Kind of try a tournament, like you said. But yeah. also, I mean, you get to see crazy stuff on the news. Yeah. I mean, it'd be like LeBron James or whatever... Taking people sure. down with basketball, mm-hmm. well, just every day on the news. Yeah. So like, would you still need NBA? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that's why they said the Olympics just was not at all sure. as popular anymore. Yeah. Because it's just so much better. It just, we didn't hear anything about like a like an actual organization that does it and with the quirks and stuff. You know, like the Tri was a tournament wasn't. You know, they have the Quidditch in that world where everybody watches and tunes in. But mm-hmm. that thing was mainly just the kids. You know, sure. It wasn't broadcast to the whole world that's hungry for this entertainment. Well, so. and this is just Japan, right? Maybe other yeah. countries. True. Yeah. I always do took it that they just didn't broadcast it for the technology reasons. They can't put on cable because muggles will see it. So all everyone just went there to watch. Mm-hmm. I, w- I would say that so far this has much been more interesting than most of the Olympic events. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree. Like curling. It, you know, curling. If, if curling had it's giant robots, this is some good stuff this year. I'd watch it. It'd be very interesting. If they had to curl better. around giant robots, it would be pretty damn engaging, I think. Yeah, they don't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Well, like, they already had right? ice and they had robots. They could have done it. Make your own Olympics. I mean, uh, you did start that petition to have robot wars in the Olympics, right? Mm. <sighs> yeah. Uh, and then we have uh, Midnight. 
Who is our announcer? Miss Midnight. The, Miss Midnight, the R-rated. My hero. The yeah. R-rated superstar. Who's Pretty much a dominatrix. I okay, guess R rated superstar. Seems... That's See, somebody else. It's Edge. Last episode, I was like, does she have handcuffs on? Because she has yeah. like these cuffs with like this little thing that it could be tied together. It's like, nah. What's her power? I wonder. I don't know. Being I mean, domination. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a domination. it's a power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for checking out my hero along with us. If you want to make sure you never miss one, make sure you subscribe to Blind Waves. Make sure you also check out her website where you can find early access at full length. And uh, other stuff is great. Like a podcast. Watch that. Jesus. <laughs>